Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Darling, on today's video, I'm gonna be making these four beautiful candles using soy bliss wax from 1617.com. If you wanna see how I formulate these candles, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. Yes! Darling, today I'm gonna to be making beautiful candles. I'm gonna be testing Soy Bliss from 1617.com. So this is the, the wax that I just purchased a week ago. Uh, it, I believe it's mostly uh, soy with a hint of paraffin according to the website. So I'm gonna be selecting beautiful fragrance oils from the Oregon Trail. So first apply and um, we're gonna make beautiful candles okay guys so i'm doing this today so today it so happens that i did my live stream for the channel but i want to make a video because these candles i need to cure for two weeks and as you know i'm gonna go to maui next weekend so i want to make sure that when i come back it's gonna be two full weeks that the candles have been curing okay so i'm gonna take it to the candle bar honey and we're gonna make a selection of beautiful fragrance oils for this amazing candles okay yeah okay guys so before i start working with this wax i wanna go to the website 1617.com and see what kind of uh, week series they uh, recommend for this wax okay because i don't wanna uh, go blind i, I just wanna see uh, what re uh, what they recommend okay and that's the way it should be done when you're testing candles when you're gonna make candles for the first time using a new wax you should always go to the website and always follow the manufacturer's uh, instruction, okay? So, let me just put this away. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go to Safari and see what surprise I get. And guys, I had such a great time today. My live stream, it was great. I got a lot of uh, people coming in. I'm so glad. Uh, even though it's a holiday weekend, but I think people uh, like to say what I have to say, which that makes me like very happy. Okay, so let's see. They say our Soy Bliss is the crown jewel of container blends. Soy Bliss is easy to work with, delivers smooth tops with every pour, never has sinkholes and requires no pour overs. This wax is a complex blend of soy waxes and a small amount of food grade paraffin. Truly one of a kind. Soy Bliss makes candles fun and easy. Okay, Soy Bliss needs small wicks. We recommend our CDM wick series and a two week cure for developing, uh, for develop hot throw. We recommend heating slightly past 200 degrees. Wow, okay, let me pick a note. You see, this is, that's why I have to say guys, you have to check with the man password because if you go by the general rule of soy wax uh, candles uh, making, they usually recommend you to uh, heat up up to 185 and that's it. But here they say, we recommend heating slightly past 200, so I'm gonna make uh, heat to 205. And uh, adding the fragrance oil, no lower than 200, okay? So you have to add the fragrance oil while it's still hot, okay? You see, you have to really check. These high temperatures help the wax and the fragrance oil to bind. You will not burn off your fragrance oil, regardless of blast point. You only need to stir your fragrance oil for 20 seconds and pour immediately, okay? Recommended pouring temperature is around 185 Fahrenheit. Although this wax can be poured hotted without issue, okay? Perfect. Fragan fragrance load for this. Soy Bliss can accommodate a fragrance load of 10% to 12% with most fragrance oils. Please conduct your own testing to ensure candle safety as, as each fragrance oil may behave differently. Yeah, you have to really test every, every uh, Fragrance oil that you use as it was like um, the first time. That's all I need to know, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna go, I have in here a guide of CDM wicks, which I'm gonna use to guide me to work with this uh, wax. Okay guys, now I'm gonna go to uh, the candy bar and let's start having fun, okay? Yeah! Okay guys, so I'm gonna get the beautiful oils. You're gonna love these oils that I just made. I review a small review on my live stream. I think that epic. And I'm gonna be making beautiful candles, okay? Let me just go get them. Okay guys, so. Let me just put them all in here. And I also have some notes in here that I just took from the website. I have my candle making worksheet in here that I'm gonna start working on. Okay, CDN series. Container style, we don't know that yet. Okay, I'm gonna uh, heat wax to 205. 
As for gas oil at 200, pour out, I'm gonna put 195. So I'm within that range and I'm gonna be using CDN5 uh, wigs. And I'm gonna be following here, I have the chart of, uh, depending on the on the uh, diameter of the, of the vessel. So let's see which vessel I'm gonna be using for this test, guys. Okay. I feel like making real candles. I don't feel like making like testers. For this, in this instance, I'm gonna be using these uh, eight ounce mason jars. I have three in there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make four because I have four big uh, pouring jars. Let me just bring them over. So I'm gonna be using these four in here because I'm gonna be using the grill, okay? Uh, I'm not doing double boiler because that's not for me anymore. And I just wanna make sure that this gets done correctly. Okay, so let's see. Let me measure it inside. I think I have these in here. Measure them again. I'll just measure the inside, guys. So these are, I'm gonna say that this is two and a quarter. Okay, two and a quarter. And you see how much liquid they hold. So for those of you that started watching my channel, guys, this is a good uh, refresher. You know, I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to get the, uh, the 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 right amount. So what I do is, uh, you start this, you put an ounce, and then you add water to it to the desired amount that you want. Okay, so let's see how much water. Six and a half ounces, that should be enough. I don't wanna fill them up. I wanna save some wax, so 6.5 in water weight. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna find out uh, the wig size. So CDN, mm -hmm. I go in here by the, uh, what they recommend. They recommend uh, from diameter of two to three inches, they recommend CDN four, CDN five, and CDN six. I'm gonna use the one in the middle, I'm gonna use CDN5, okay? So I have them in here. I got them all, guys. I got every single size I bought because when I like something, I get them all. Okay, so I'm gonna take four of these. And these candles I'm gonna give to my neighbor after I cure them and see what she says. And these oils are amazing. The ones that I just reviewed on today's uh, live stream, guys. This company, Oregon Trail uh, Trail uh, Soppers Supply, has been in business for 32 years, and and Susan, she's one of the person that contacted me, and she said, you know, they mix oil for oils, uh, for uh, soaps and candles, you know, for body, for skincare, for any any type of uh, skin or soap or uh, lotion, they make these oils, and some of these oils, to me. Again, because I've tested a lot of them. Uh, to me, some of them may be great on soaps. Some of them may work or may not work on candles. So, you know, it's up, it's up to the people, you know. It, again, it's all on the testing, so. Okay, so let me just prep this. I, I was making it, I was testing um, coconut apricot. And guys, it gave me the most amazing CT after two days. Uh, after 10 days, I did an HT test. Believe it or not, there was no HT. Very minimal. And the only HT that I got was from, from candles that I made using mixing the wax with something else. Like I mix the wax with a PB600, which is the wax that I use. I mix it with a IGI 6046, which is coconut paraffin. You know, um, I was so excited because I thought that I was gonna be making uh, a huge discovery by getting some, such a nice HT, you know, that when I just went to test them, I didn't find any good HT. I was devastated, you know, because it's such a beautiful wax and that's what happens. But at the same time, that's why I love having my channel. That's why I love having you guys, uh, that I can just share this with, uh, with the world, you know, the creation, uh, the creation of something beautiful. So this morning I went to the gym, I had a very nice workout. You know, um, I just finished having a nice dinner with my husband. I had some uh, Italian sausage, one link, and I also had three uh, scrambled eggs. It's like I'm eating a lot of protein because I'm building a muscle. So I need a lot of protein on my, on my, on my diet. So uh, no carbs, or very low carb. And when I say carbs, I mean, I don't eat processed carbs. I don't eat bread, I don't eat rice, I don't eat pasta, you know? I don't eat anything with flour. I think it's the best way to eat for me. 
So, you know, it's, it's fine. Life is fine, you know, here in Portland. It's not New York City when I used to live, but you know, it's, it's different. It's like everybody has different phases in life, different stages, you know, like this, uh, the New York City stage for me is over. I had a lot of fun, uh, but I don't think I would like to live in there anymore. You know, it's, it was too hectic and also extremely expensive. You know, it's, it's too much. You have to have, in order for you to have a, a good life in New York, uh, you have to have a good salary, which I used to have. Um, I mean, have a lot of money. It's if you want to live well. You know, if you want to go out to dinner every night, if you want to go to a nice gym, it's extremely expensive. You know, if you want to go to, uh, entertaining outside, you know, a Broadway show, even a movie or, or whatever, you know, it's everything is a lot of money. So, you know, if you don't have a, so, you know, I'm doing well in here because I'm retired and I just have, I was very lucky that I invested my money wisely and so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's see. Let me just put this to the back of here now, to the side, and let's start working with the different fragrance oils, okay? And let me just bring my fragrance strips. Okay, first of all, let me just uh, figure out on the cell phone how much uh, wax I need for every candle, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got the numbers. So we need 5.4 ounces of wax for each candle, and we need 0.55 ounces of uh, fragrance oil, okay? Now I'm gonna ask Siri to convert 0.55 ounces into grams, okay? So I'll be right back. Siri is so smart. So I asked her how many uh, grams and she said to me 15.6. So that's excellent. Perfect, okay? So let me just put this away for now. Start playing with the oils. Let me just bring the fragrance strips. And my favorite part. Okay. So let me see, I know I took some notes of oil that I love. Okay, Karma. Karma, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna make a fragrance strip. This is amazing. Amazing. It's very spiritual, you know, it's very uh, deep. This one, tonka bean, tonka bean and soft sugar. I did not like this at all. Uh, let's see, uh, vanilla bourbon. I love this one because everything with vanilla Makes everything very sexy, very romantic. So I'm gonna make a scent strip of this so I can mix it up with others. Okay, and then after I finish with these strips, guys, I'm gonna put them inside that glass vial that I show you on the live stream. I'll bring one over, hold on. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Uh, Confederate ja Jasmine, let's see. Mm, let me just think about it. Okay. Let me just bring uh, the glass vial so I can show you. This I got from Amazon. I'm gonna link them below, guys. So what I'm gonna do is whenever I select a scent strip that I want, I'm gonna put them in here. And I'm gonna ID them with numbers so I can identif identify which candle goes with which, okay? Frankincense and myth, a mirror. Definitely making a candle out of this one. This is so spiritual also. So relaxing, so deep, so romantic. It's an uh, intensity. Like, like incense, you know, it had that type of vibe. I'm just dying to find out how much, uh, how this uh, wax works in terms of HT and CT. Okay, this one scents with amber. I didn't like this one when I smelled it at the first time. I don't like it enough. I don't like it at all. I don't know what it is. I need to I need to read more of what's in, inside these fragrance oils so I can tell the, uh, the ladies, uh, the company. Okay, black fig and honey. I know I'm gonna make a candle out of this because this smells incredible. Yes. It smells very sophisticated. It smells like a wall traveler. No, we have a fig tree in the back of my garden here. I know I'm gonna find beautiful uh, combination for my candles in here, beautiful. Okay, this one is bombshell diamonds type. Uh, this is beautiful, but I'm gonna pass. Gentleman's choice pipe tobacco. I didn't like this one. Um, I, I hardly, uh, I can hardly smell tobacco, you know? It's sad because I love pipe tobacco smell. Okay, G uh, Jasmine, I know I'm gonna be using this one. Yes, sophisticated jasmine. And I'm gonna mix it with uh, gardenia. That's for sure. I need to. I need to find the gardenia one. My favorite gardenia scent, which is this one. This is amazing, guys. So I'm gonna make a strip out of this one. And I have a lot of gardenia scent, and nothing compared to that one. This is from Candles House Supplies. This is a very dense oil. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me just see how it smells with uh, with the jasmine. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. 
they complement so well each other. And what I love is that they are potent, potent, and but they don't fight with each other. They like embrace each other, and they, you know what what uh, each a uh, note is. Oh my god. Okay, definitely a candle out of this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put this in here. It is amazing. So put the name facing outwards, you see? Here they are. I don't even have to label them. I just look at the, you see? Put them in here. That's gonna be choice number one. Okay, let's keep going, darling. Let's see what is this. Sensual. This is amazing. What I like about this is, is that it's not strong. It's very delicate and masculine at the same time. Very sexy and kind of sweet, but not in a sweet. Yeah, it's, it's like vanilla type. It's like sweet vanilla, but it's, yeah, I think it's uh, the vanilla that it's making this like very comforting. So I'm going to make a, a strip out of this one. You see guys, when uh, it takes a lot of practice for you to become familiar with the different notes, with the different fragrance oils. Uh, like I am right now, because I've done so much testing that I know basically how, no, I have an idea what will work with what. Okay, La Vie Estebel, this is another perfume uh, type of fragrance oil. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. No, this is beautiful, but not uh, for this kind, kind of testing. Okay, this one is Night Blooming Jasmine. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And this one's gonna go great with the Egyptian Egyptian musk. These two together, I'm telling you right now, they're gonna be a hit. So I'm making the, the strips for both of them. I think I already made one already. I think I already made one, let me see. I already made one with the two of them combined. This is gonna be number one for sure. My God, my God, my God. I have five in here that are night. Now I have to combine. Let me just put this away. Okay, so I have these two already been selected. I'm gonna take the strong one, which is frankincense and mirror, which is the uh, incense. Let me see how it mess. The sensual, sensual. God, this is so beautiful. It's gonna be a tough choice. Uh, the vanilla in the sensual makes it so comforting. So it's like getting a hug, you know, for someone. <sighs> Boy, karma, karma. How will karma go with frankincense and mirror? Let's see. No, oof, no, too much. They're like, uh, okay. Oof, the karma with this. Oh my God, it's like they slapped each other, you know? Let's see black fig and honey with frankincense, frankincense and mirror. Oh, I am heartbroken. And then I have vanilla bourbon. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, let me mix vanilla bourbon with uh, black fig and honey. No. Uh, the black fig, uh, the black fig and vanilla in here, in this combination, does not work together. So, okay, karma is very strong. I, I, I'm gonna get rid of karma on this. I, I just don't think it's gonna be work for me. Okay, so I have vanilla, bourbon, and sensual. Let's see how that works. They, got, they are two, they are two vanillas basically. Uh, they're beautiful, but they are not strong enough. They need uh, a bit. Uh, a more intense. So uh, the frankincense, a mirror, beautiful and sensual. I need to ask my husband because they are uh, vanilla bourbon and frankincense. I think I like this better. Okay, let me go. Let me just go and ask my husband. I'll be right back. Uh, frankincense, a mirror. I could do it by itself. I think I could, I'm gonna do that by itself. And then I'm gonna do the black pig and, and honey. Uh, let me see how it smells. Uh, it smells with the vanilla bourbon. Okay, guys, so uh, the black fig, it has a note that is so overpowering that it smells kind of chemically. And I see what my husband is talking about now. It's like it smells almost pungent. So I'm gonna skip this one and I'm gonna work on a candle, uh, on an oil. It's called Wine and Roses. Let me find it. This is from the candle maker store. This is amazing, guys. Amazing. And you don't need to mix it with anything else. So I'm gonna make a candle out of that one. Make a sensitive out of that one. And maybe if I mix it with something else. Yeah, this, you have to really uh, keep smelling the oil. That's why it's so good that I'm, that I'm gonna put them in, in these bottles, okay. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Definitely making out of that one. Okay. So let's let's keep going. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make frankincense a mirror. I can't do it by itself. So good. So let me just put it here. Sometimes less is more, guys. Um, why not? It's like you don't have to mess with nature. When nature really makes something beautiful, you don't touch it. Okay, and wine and roses, I'm gonna make it by itself because this is so delicate, so high end. It, it doesn't need anything else, guys. Okay? Then I have one more. Okay, sensual, sensual and vanilla together. Karma is too much. Yeah, karma is too much. Uh, what else can I have in here? Maybe these two together by itself. Let me ask my husband again. You know what, guys? I'm gonna try to play with this with Mary. Okay, let me do a um, fragrance and strip out of that one. And let's see how that one behaves. Karma is definitely out of the out of the equation today, so let me just get rid of this one. Okay, and let me see how Mary is gonna behave. Wow, I don't know about this, guys, but I'm gonna try. Okay, let's see how because it needs something to push this a little bit farther, you know. Oh my God. Okay, let me ask my husband. So my husband is not too crazy about this combination, but I'm just gonna make it. Is the bomb. Wow. I have to say guys, there has to be something in this, in this oil because, wow, look about romance, oof. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the bottle here, the three of them, and I'm gonna make the candles and let's see what happens. So the, here they are. All the scents are mixing together in the air, in there, because and I'm, now I'm gonna have to play with the with the ratios on this. And again, this is my secret formulation so I'm, I won't be able to tell you, but I'm just telling you this, my selection for the oils. Okay, I'm gonna make four candles because I only have four uh, containers. So I, I did five samples. I need to pick up my mind. Either I do frankincense and mirror. I'm gonna skip frankincense and mirror for the next round. I'm gonna make gardenia and jasmine. Okay, I'm so excited. Yes, we'll see. So let me just get my labels for the candles and make the labels so I know which one is which. So like I told you guys, I'm telling you the fragrances that I'm using, the ratios, it's my personal formula. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. I hope you understand, uh, but that's my, uh, my trade secret, okay? So I'm gonna bring the scale now. And you know, I use very, and I need to buy a new scale. Candle number one is gonna be the one that is more complicated, so I need to get my uh, calculator. Okay, I know. Okay, the first oil is gonna be the smaller, the most potent one. So I have control on that one, drop by drop. Perfect. Okay, this is number one. Okay, I have the four formulas in here ready for me now. Okay, let me just put this away. Okay, now I need to, let me just put this aside. I'm gonna have it here. This. So let's see how I'm gonna be cutting this. So let's see how this opens. So this is like a big bag. And I'm not gonna add any, any additives to this. I'm not gonna add any vibe bar. Uh, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it be as pure as I can be. So I need 5.4 ounces. Perfect. So I'm gonna bring the containers out, guys. I'm gonna bring you out too. Okay, guys, so I have the four containers in here. They're getting warm. I have this on 275. I'm going to need two more uh, spatulas. Okay, guys, so let's recap. So we are gonna be using four different uh, fragrance oil formulations and have them in here. The first one is gonna be vanilla bourbon, Mary, and sensual. So here it is, this is the trio. Oh, wow. 
this is truly amazing guy this mix is really one of a kind so a different kind of candle that you find anywhere and let me move this light so it can face me this way I told you this is gonna be very hot they need to be at 200 at least 210 okay so let's see candle number two is gonna be just bring you lower bring you lower might as well candle number two is gonna be wine and roses yes <sighs> unique 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 mix candle number three night blooming jasmine and egyptian moss Divine. This is gonna be epic. And the last one is Gardenia and Jasmine. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a few pictures so I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, so uh, the phone battery is, is running low so I'm not gonna be able to use the, the microphone, the outdoor mic microphone, so the sound may sound different, but I need to do it because I'm running out of battery. So let me just check this, the wax, the temperature in here, see how it's doing. And again, like I told you, I'm gonna, um, cure them for two weeks inside my cardboard boxes that I told you this is what I that what I got my this this container ship came in here so I saved them you know and this is where I keep my, my candles you know I think it's I think it's a great idea because it keeps them uh, enclosed on a small space you know and there's no light and it's cardboard so it breathes but it doesn't like you know it's it's the perfect environment for the candles uh, to cure, I think. Okay, so this one is all melted already. And it's 169, okay, now it's... Okay, they're almost all melted. Yes! Slowly but surely. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, today's live stream. I had a blast, you know, I love reviewing fragrance oils. I think that, to me, it doesn't get any, any more real than that. You know, it's like, a, I love to share my my honest opinion. Sometimes I am, I could be brutal, like I told you, but it's, it is, that's the way I am. So it's good, guys, when you get containers like this, it's good that you get all metal, because if you get plastic in here, like I have some, it will melt if you use them on a grill like this. So don't ever put anything that has a plastic handle on a grill like this, because it's gonna melt, for sure. So be very careful. At least they are melted, you know? We're almost. Oh. The first one is not melted completely, so. Let's see. Okay, 205. This one is number two. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour the oil. 20 seconds and then I'm gonna pour. This one is number two. Beautiful. It smells divine. Okay, just for the hell of it, let me see how the temperature is. Two or four. Okay, I'm gonna pour. And whatever happens, it happens. Check the temperature. Okay, this is very hot. This is 224. So I'm just gonna put it in the side in here. 226, again, too hot. But you know what, guys? Uh, the wax is not gonna melt. So I know that they are ready to be uh, to be poured. I mean, not poured, but to, put, to add this. Okay, they're all perfect. The temperature is fine. This wax is not gonna melt. I mean, it's not gonna burn, so. Okay, so I'm gonna start adding the oils. Let me bring you guys closer. And maybe I'll put you guys down a little bit. So this is gonna be number one. So this is number one. Okay, 213, the temperature is too, it's too hot, so I'm, too, I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. Okay, this is 200, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make this one number one. This is perfect, this is a 200, 201. So I'm just gonna, 20 seconds, and I'm gonna pour. Oh my God. Mary Jane is working out in this one. Oof. Big time, baby, big time. Okay, let me check the temperature again. Even though it says only 20 seconds. You know what, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay, now let's pour. 206, and this one is 214, so this one is gonna be number three. Oh my God, beautiful. I mean, they, if these candles work out the way I'm hoping, guys, I have my candle line right over here. These are amazing. This is the vibe that I wanna give to the people. This is the, uh, the love romance, the energy, you know, this the statement that like, I'm here, okay? Look at me, I love you, whatever. You know, it's, that's what I, 
That's what I want my candles to be, you know? Okay, perfect, time to pour. Nothing like a gardenia to me, my favorite flower. It's like magical. Okay, guys, my four beauties. Now I'm gonna go clean up and I'll be right back. Yeah! Oh, hi guys, welcome back. So actually today is the day after I made the candles. So I just wanna show them to you the way they're looking right now. I put them on boxes because I'm curing them in here. Let me see if I can bring you down a little bit more so you can see. Okay, so these are the four candles, guys. So let me open them for you. So as you know, I always cure my candles on boxes like this. I don't cover them or anything, even though they have tops, but I don't like to cover them. This is number one. This is vanilla bourbon. Um, Mary and sensual, sensual, okay? Number two, number two is wine and roses. Okay. Number three, oh my God, the aroma from wine and roses. Wow, the city is amazing. This one is, number three is night bloom, night bloom in jasmine and Egyptian uh, musk. I'm very happy with the city so far. And this is the last one, this is number four. Uh, this is gardenia and jasmine. Amazing. Uh, my ratio, the one that I did, especially for this one, I just hit it on the nail. Beautiful. You see what experience? Just a little drop here and a little drop there, guys. It's all on the ratios to make the perfect handle. And I think this one is gonna be beautiful. Okay, so in terms of uh, the tops, okay, I got the first two ones. I had like a, a little bit of a sinkhole. But I'm not bad at that, you know, it's around the week. So that can be fixed with the heat gun, you know. So, that, but besides that, they are very smooth. As you can see, very happy with the finish. Uh, this is the other two ones. As you can see, this uh, oil is very dark. So that's why the candle is darker. But as you can see, it's very smooth tops. So this is the first time that I'm able to get smooth top uh, using soy. So I'm very happy with this. I'm extremely happy with the CT on this candle, guys. <sighs> wow. Beautiful. And it's only been one day, okay? So hopefully, hopefully this won't be like uh, the Coco Apricot that I was able to get a beautiful CT after two days. But then when I did the HD test, they did not deliver. I'm hoping that this um, will be great candles. Uh, again, I'm using CDN five weeks for all the candles. This is what was recommended by 1617.com, which is the website that I got uh, the wax. So please, okay? So let me just put them back in the boxes, but I'm gonna take a few pictures so I can put them at the end of, of the video, guys. So like I told you guys, I'm gonna be traveling to my, my week with my husband. I'm gonna be there for seven days. We're leaving on June 6th and we're coming back uh, seven days after. Live stream, you know, because I'm gonna be there. And also, uh, like, I just wanna take a break, you know? So when I come back, uh, the weekend that we come back, the weekend after, it's gonna be uh, Father's Day. So I'm not gonna uh, live stream on Father's Day because I know everybody is gonna be uh, very busy with the family. So I'm gonna take that week off also. So I'm gonna see you guys on June 27th. Sunday, June 27 at 12 noon Pacific time, okay? So again, these are my beautiful candles, guys. Let's see how uh, uh, they perform. And hopefully I'll be able to give you a, a report when I'll see you back, okay? Okay, guys, so until the next uh, live stream, until the next video, take care of yourself and each other. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share my, uh, my content with all your friends and family. Give me likes, please. And also check me out on my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael, where I'm gonna be uh, doing uh, uploading videos uh, from Hawaii, okay? So you can see how much fun we're having, okay guys? So I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself, I love you. Bye. Yes! <laughs>